Okay, this is what I'm going to scratch build right here. That's the uh, SU-47 Berku, I think that's what it's pronounced, I don't know. But anyways, we're going to um, scratch build. I'm going to do a video of a scratch build. I'm going to try to make it as quick and as unboring as possible. Because I've seen people build stuff and, oh my god, it's like a 30 minute video. So I'm going to keep this short. Okay, so before we get started, um, this is the place that I have to work on the dining room table because my garage is not quite there yet. I'm going to get a, a desk working table out in the garage. But we just moved here, and uh, as you can see, my wife is not too happy about that setup right there at all, right in the middle of the, of the house. So um, once we get a table out in the garage, I clean the garage out, uh, get a table out there, all this stuff will go in the garage. We'll be back to uh, normal living. The fan fold foam that's in the garage. My garage is not organized, like I said. I got I got a bunch of other stuff right here and just sitting on top of the car. And uh, that's kind of all messy and stuff. But we got things kind of organized. There's, at least there's room to walk um, from the door to the outside. Um, it's all kind of stuff. Here's my fan fold foam. I cut out, cut out two of them. I'm probably going to only need one. I'll need one piece, one good piece right there, and then this other one's kind of been hacked up for pieces that I need to, when I crash, I cut stuff out and re rebuild it, so, but, I'm sure there's enough foam on that side that, um, if I need to do, like, you know, rudders out of it or something like that, you know, I'll have extra scrap. So I've got two pieces, and we are going to build it out of that. And uh, now we'll go back and show you how to, uh, how I cut out the uh, plans and get them all right set there. up. there. And here's what I do when I get a PDF plan like this, it's got the borders on it. So I have a plan of, uh, the little pack at Harbor Freight of razor blades like this, or a hundred, you know, a hundred razor blades for like two bucks. And this is what I use for everything. So what I do is I put a point on the border right there and then I line it right up on that black line and I just cut off that part, spin it around. And so now what we got is just a, a borderless piece of uh, PDF plan. Then you put them together. No. Okay, I have everything just placed in. Nothing's glued down right now. I just laid it out on the fan fold foam. Um, and everything's okay, but I am going to need two pieces here. And I have my other stuff laid out down there. And it's just barely going to fit on that piece of foam. Now if you see on the right, I left some foam sticking out right there because those edges that are cut off, like right here, are going to come from this area right in here. You see these little extra pieces in there because everything else lines up all good. I can cut that out no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some scissors or whatever and I'm going to cut out around here and then just take that piece and just come down here and stick it, you know, where it belongs, like right there or whatever. And then it'll all be lined up, no problem at all. So. Two pieces of foam looks like it's going to work perfectly and I'm going to have some stuff left over. So I'm going to get it all organized, glued down, and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay. So now we got um, just a blank. I took everything apart. I'm going to start with the first page. And I have some of this 3M general purpose uh, spray adhesive. I've never used this before. I got it from Home Depot. So we'll see how it works. Usually I use the cheaper Harbor Freight stuff. Which is good because it peels off. If you want to move your piece of paper, it'll move off. But what I do is, make sure you're getting this on there, Katie. What I do is I spray and I spray over the foam itself because the overspray will get on here and then it'll make it tacky and, and it helps. Because if you do it somewhere else, everything is going to get all tacky everywhere else. So all I do is a quick couple of sprays. You don't have to make it stick like it's going to last forever. And then I'm going to come up here and just try to make it as straight as possible and boom there it is just like that then we're going to do the same thing all the way down on both sides and i'll show you what that's like when we're done there is uh the two pieces of the fan fold foam and all the pieces laid out and glued down um at first i showed you to spray the back of the pieces of paper i got halfway through and uh, did something that I haven't done before, and that's just to spray the glue all over the fan fold foam and then lay down the dry paper on top of it. Seems to be okay. It doesn't have to be re like, you know, cemented onto that foam. It just has to be there. And this glue actually worked out pretty good because you can lay it down, 
peel it back if you want to realign it and then put it back down so it's real nice um and then the pieces let's see you can see i cut out some pieces right there right there right there and i moved them over to the end of the wings over here and just the pieces i just glued on where they where they should go and you know fit it right on that piece of foam real nice and neat so it's all going to work out so the next part is to start cutting so let's do that okay we're going to start cutting here uh, two most important things, two most important things, the most important things you need is a good aluminum straight edge and I have a 35 inch, 35 inch long straight edge so that'll fit over the foam real good. You, this, I haven't had a cut that exceeds the length of this aluminum straight edge. Then it's always good to have a smaller straight edge when you get in there and you do the smaller cuts and stuff. Now if you'll notice I cut off all of the excess of the fan fold. So those are the two bottoms that that did, did need to be cut. So I cut them down um, shorter so that everything will be easier to work with. And you need a box of razor blades. Some people will use um, X-Acto knives and they're probably better. However, you have to keep changing those blades. I mean this stuff really wears out those razor blades. And if you can get these cheap little razor blades just like this, um, uh, you know, you, every third cut, you can throw it away and get a new razor blade. Because what will happen if the blade is dull, you'll start skipping and you'll get those little jagged edges on it and stuff. So, straight edge and a new razor blade that cuts smoothly and quickly and um, replace your razor blades all the time. Every, like, third, fourth cut. You'll you'll know when it's kind of dying down. And with these, these little ones, 100 piece for, like, 2 bucks, I just get these and cut. So... Um, we'll start cutting. Okay, so now when I start when I start my cutting, what I usually do is try to cut just just uh, cut out each piece. And you can just roll around it like this, and then there's a piece there that I'm going to cut. So you cut them all out, and you can uh -oh, you can deal with them, you know, one by one, especially using a smaller straight edge. So uh, I'm going to cut out this piece. I'm going to cut out this piece now. So I take my straight edge and I just line it up against the lines. Okay, so there's one piece, and then we're going to start doing the rest of it, and I'll get them all cut out, and I'll show you, you know, once they're all cut out, what to do after that. Got, got most of the pieces cut out right there. I got one piece left to cut out. Unfortunately, it's this piece right here, and all those black lines need to be cut. So, I'll get started on it, and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, and there it is, all cut out. Um, you have all, all these little notches, That those are the pains in the butt. There's the stab the carbon fiber put in there, strengthen up the wings, cut out the ailerons and the elevators, and I've marked exactly where they are supposed to go. But all this paper is going to be ripped off of it anyway, so I still have to mark to find out, because it'll get mixed up in a whole pile of stuff over there. So let's start, um, let's get all the paper off. I'll show you how I do that. All right, one thing about gluing the paper down to the foam is that the fan fold foam is kind of rough on one side and the other side has a layer of, of film on it. You gotta take that off because if you, if it's on your piece and you, you glue down a control horn or something, all it is is it's glued to this piece of thing. So anyways, now you want to take your paper off anyways and you could take off the paper and the film all at the at the same time you just peel it back like that and it all comes off in one straight thing okay i have everything officially cut out and all of the film on all the parts are all peeled off and the paper is gone and um, next part is to start gluing. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind as you do this is, like this fan fold foam has a good side and it has a bad side. 
So like the this here on the rudders, this here on the rudders, these are the good side. And then if you get lucky, you turn it over and then you have a, another good side, but it's a little rough on this side. But, uh, you know, sometimes you don't get lucky and you turn it over and you got the black printing on one side. Well, I'm going to be painting this black, so that won't be much of a problem. But it's something to keep in mind and not a big deal. But um, it does have a good side and that, like that, is looking sweet. So anyways, next part to do is to start hot gluing. And we'll get that done next. Okay, I jumped ahead. I jumped a little bit ahead. Uh, started to paint it. Anyways, so I got it all glued together now. Um, and I guess from this side of the you kind of see. Um, the only thing I really did was bevel the edges here on the leading edges of all the... Uh, leading edge surfaces um, and got it together now here it is all glued up and there's the bottom um, got the hatch right here and I guess that's for the battery and speed control and stuff um, and I guess this is a better view of the final product here when it's all when it's all done up um, they call for carbon fiber rods across the wings here, which I just put wooden dowels. That's what I had. I used. They worked. They worked fine. But when I picked up the plane, it was still bowing in the middle. The wings are still. The whole plane was bowing up. So I put a real small dowel rod just right across um, the fuselage there in the middle, and it really seems to help out a lot. So I don't have that bowing effect, you know. Um, and so obviously now the next step is to paint. Which okay, I've got it all painted, uh, put together, and painted. Um, paint turned out pretty good. It didn't really eat up the foam too bad, which was good. So the next part is to install the electronics, which is not, which is not my favorite part of the build, but we'll get it done. Okay, there's the finished product. Finally got the motor in place. Um, also, I have um, two servos that are going to connect the ailerons and the elevator. I have it set up on an elevon situation here and on the other side as well. I put these little reinforcements here so that the guide wire, the control rod doesn't bend on me it should be okay but it's all experimental I don't know what to expect from this thing um, got the hatch I gotta kinda reach under there and get this thing pulled so I'm gonna try this thing on a 1600 uh, yeah, 1600 millimeter uh, milliamp lipo got the receiver in there and got this 20 amp speed control I didn't check to see how many amps it's pulling but I think it's gonna be okay they recommend uh, 2200, but that thing is heavy. It's a heavy battery. So I'm going to start off with the 1600 way up, pushed all the way to the front to try to get the uh, uh, CG, which is, they say, is right about here. And my CG is kind of like right about there, which is, yeah, maybe a problem. So I'd rather have my CG right about here if that's the true CG point. I don't know. So let's let's flop it out. I had to get a quick video now that it's finished um, before I fly. Because we're going to fly it tonight in the afternoon, which I don't know how that's going to go at all. Let's see if we can get, get the motor going a little bit for you. It seems okay. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this thing. It was a fun build. If I go out and crash it into a million pieces on the first three seconds, it's okay. I mean, at least I got the video to show how it came out, so it's all good. So anyways, let's take this thing out to the park and uh, see what happens on the uh, maiden flight. Okay. Oh, and bring it down? Okay.
I think that battery is not heavy enough. Let's try another battery. Okay. Here we go. Yesterday was tail heavy. Today we put some batteries, double A batteries up in the front. It balances out good. Right about here is where it's supposed to balance out. And so we're going to, the field's clear. No, I'm sorry. It's just a small crack. We're going to give it a shot. What's going to happen? Okay, I lost it. Okay, nice. Yes.